Hello, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss, and today we're going to talk about what foods cause leaky gut. First thing I want to show you, though, is what the heck's going on on the digestive system lining. And here we are in front of my whiteboard, so I can explain it a little bit better. What I've drawn for you here is the digestive system lining. We have all of our cells nice and tight together. That's normal. And there's all these little humps in your lining. These are called villi. Now, what you'll notice is we've got an artery coming in, this red tube here, and then you've got a vein going out, this blue tube there. What's supposed to be happening on any given day is when you go and you eat, we're supposed to have lots of blood flow to the digestive system so that we can rest and digest and that oxygen can come to our tissues, nourish them, and then we can take molecules away from the digestive system and put them to other places. In particular, you can see to the liver so we can process those molecules. But in the case of leaky gut, we have a lot of other things happening. So for example, one of the most common foods that causes irritation to the digestive system lining is a genetically modified organism, a GMO type of food. Potatoes, tomatoes, huge in that department. So is corn and soy and wheat. And so that's why wheat really has the bad rap that it does. It's not because wheat in itself is this devil grain. It's really that it is genetically modified, so much so that our digestive system linings don't know what to do with it. So let me show you what happens when you eat things like that. So let's say that this is a nice molecule of gluten. Looks kind of like a little monster. Let's give it a little face there. There we go. All right. So this is your molecule of gluten, and let's say, you know, you had pizza, right? So let's put another little molecule here. This fluffy one will make that one our tomato. So this is tomato, and this is gluten, a.k.a. the, the sticky part of the wheat. And so these guys come down, and we had ate them, so they come down and they sit on that digestive system lining. When they sit there, our receptors on the cell don't know what to do with them. So the longer they sit there, the more damage starts to happen on the digestive system lining because our body doesn't know what to do with them. So it comes down and now we have it just sitting here. And when it sits there and sits there, it erodes this lining. How does that happen? It doesn't happen magically. It's an immune system response. Some of our good white blood cells come in and start to attack those cells. It's a immune system attack happening right on the digestive system lining. So as that happens here, and we have our good guys, so I like to draw them much like Pac-Man. This is our immune system. Those guys are coming in, and they're going to try to gobble up these molecules. But in all that process, we end up with holes in between our cells. Those holes in between the cells allow for molecules to come across, much like we've got change my color, much like we've got this fluffy tomato molecule, gets across, gets past the cell, gets in the bloodstream. Those molecules shouldn't be in the bloodstream. In that case, they should be broken down further into nutrients that we can actually use, like vitamins or minerals or antioxidants. But in this case, we get a larger molecule across the cells into the bloodstream. Once that gets in the bloodstream, now our Pac-Mans, our immune system, have to figure out what to do that didn't work out so well, there we go. These guys have to figure out what to do with those tomato molecules. So here's that tomato molecule. And so eventually they're gonna end up gobbling them. They gobble them and gobble them, and we create an immune system reaction, antibodies to that molecule. So then we end up with a memory in our immune system of the tomato molecules. So next time you eat them, you get a stomach ache, you don't feel so good. This is the common reaction with leaky gut, but also with multiple food sensitivities because that is technically where a lot of those multiple food sensitivities come from. So your number one foods that cause leaky gut are genetically modified organisms. Those are your potato, tomato, corn, soy, and wheat. And I've just demonstrated a little bit how that happens. And watch my next video for other foods that cause leaky gut. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.